watch uh, the always entertaining Joe B. Eugenie with me. And look, Blue Jays fans can never accuse you of not being a team player. Uh, you worked out of the bullpen when you first came up with the Blue Jays. Then they asked you to fill in the rotation. Now you're back to working out of the bullpen. Before I ask you about the transition of going back and forth, how would you assess the way you pitched in yesterday's ball game? What did you like? What do you think you could tweak and maybe adjust to make it better moving forward? Well, um, thank you for the very nice question, by the way. Um, uh, I, I would say that I'm a, I'm a guy that finds it rare to not have something to adjust. Uh, I'm usually thinking, sometimes overthinking to a fault. Over the last couple of years, I've tried to work on that to minimize that. Um, and I feel like I've been doing a better job of that, and um, especially important in this scenario where you're, you know, changing roles and things like that. So that's a challenge for me. And I, uh, in the game last night, obviously I'm kind of frustrated with how things have been going, um, but I do have to kind of not be too hard on myself sometimes I can over you know get no maybe um, but just to be overly harsh on you know just the, the things that I'm doing or not doing I felt like last night um, I threw the ball well actually is maybe not everybody would agree but um, I had been trying to establish my cutter uh, for like pretty much all of last year it was very inconsistent and I actually felt like I consistently threw the, the best cutters uh, that I have in a while last night, which I had been working on, and I was really happy about that. I also felt like I threw good pitches in that first inning, and it was a long inning because of a couple choppers that I couldn't quite get to, which was frustrating, but um, I felt like that inning um, was a good step in kind of reacclimating to the bullpen. Um, I felt like my first bullpen outing, you know, a little bit kind of adrenaline -y just because you're not used to it. I don't know if that's a word, but this one felt surprisingly better than the previous one. And so I think every time I'm taking a step in that direction and I just hope to continue to get opportunities to kind of establish myself, reestablish myself in that role. The second inning, after that long inning, I think with, you know, came out, arm was a little bit more loose, a little, and then, you know, one pitch got away from me. It's actually a quite a interesting pitch that he hit. Um, you know, all the way up and in, which was a missed location, but wasn't actually a bad spot. We may have even gone there on purpose at some point later in that at bat. So that was, it's frustrating to not be more positively contributing to this team right now, but I think the coaches know and, and I know that it's more about what you do when you are kind of, you know, set in your role and kind of have some regular, you know, just yeah and, and so hopefully that'll come like it did my first year and like it did at times when I was in the bullpen last year and so I'm trying not to change too much trying to stay focused trying not to overreact and um, you know stay positive and I feel like that might be the right combination hopefully tell me what kind of a toll has it taken on you mentally to be asked to do one role to prepare for another role and then to be asked to go back to a previous role has it been frustrating? Has it been um, nerve-wracking? How would you characterize mentally where you're at right now? Nice words. Um, I would say I'm okay right now. Um, you just kind of have to survive it and just kind of push through it, um, if that makes sense. Uh, I would say that I might be handling it a little better than I did last year just because there was it was hard to kind of know what things you have to take care of and what you don't have to worry about in terms of when you're making those transitions and I feel a little bit more comfortable with that. I hope to start to have some consistent effective outings um, soon. Um, but I think that this year I'm, I feel a little bit less kind of overloaded than I did last year. Um, there's still some things that I could handle better and I mean yeah it's a challenge but any of this is a challenge. You know answering your questions is a challenge especially with the looks that you give. Um, and so 
you know, the the I think the opportunity is set in front of you as this is how you this this is your opportunity, and then you have to do your best at handling it quickly um, and correctly, and you know, consulting teammates and coaches and, and things like that. Um, one thing that's been helping me that I've been thinking about um, through making this transition is. Um, have you ever thought about how many baseballs have never touched the ground? Not lately, no. Okay. Well, you should think about it because I was thinking about it the other day in the bullpen. You have a ball that's put together in a factory somewhere, and then they put it in the box. They ship it out to here. They, they take it out of the box. They rub it up, whatever. They put it back in the box. They bring it to the dugout, give it to the umpire, give it to the pitcher, catch, throw foul ball, guy catches it puts it in his pocket, takes it home, puts it on his, like, dresser or something. I Never never touches the ground. You'd think, like, a baseball, would, I would, at least I would assume, at some point it has touched the ground. This is a quandary. I just wonder what percentage of baseballs have never touched the ground before. Which is, like, it's a ball, you know, it should touch the ground, you know, it's like it's a sport. It's Do you have a guess at what percentage? I'd say maybe... I don't know. You could do a poll on, on your, like on the bottom of the screen. Um, this, please contact, text this number to, I, I would say maybe 7%. 7%. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps. It, with it, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jill. <laughs> That's your pitching hand. Eddie. Sorry about that. Listen, before I end this, yeah. Entertainment seg entertaining segment. Uh, I wanted to wish you a belated happy birthday because I know it was your birthday well, yesterday. It was, I was working. Uh, That's right. Oh, you were here and you I, refused to, to say it until no, you I, got something from me, which was the interview. Yeah. I no, I did wish you a happy birthday. But oh, yeah, uh, you did. happy 28th. Uh, did you do anything interesting? Did you do anything interesting? Nothing interesting. I pitched a uh, major you pitched. league baseball game, which I thank God as much as I can to be able to do that. Afterwards? Um, after my parents were here visiting, um, you know, they were. Uh, we, we went out to dinner. It was a little bit frustrating because of how the game went, but we had a lovely time sharing some quality what is air that? together. And um, I don't know, we, we, it's been kind of a, a quick turnaround the couple, last couple of days, so. Maybe they, I think they're going to come to Detroit, and I think we have an off day there, so we may go get all hammered or something uh, in Detroit. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. It's a family show. Uh, Joe, thank you very much for the time, as always. I appreciate the insight. I really do. And um, again, yeah, do. I hope you do. Again, happy birthday. You're, yeah, thank you.